Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Sharn Wars Adventure and Car Mechanics Simulator 2015. Woo! Okay, so how has everyone been doing? Kind of did a few, a couple videos of this and then you look like it stopped. Well, I just wanted to show you the progress. So I got one of these vehicles here on our, our, our lifts. I've got this car here and an empty spot right here. And I think we have some cars in our, ooh, what, uh, in our phone here. I clicked on something and the game just froze, which is weird. So here we got some more stuff. But see, if you notice with these jobs, there's no list. Here, there's no list with this. With these two, there is. So all the cars are no longer have lists anymore. So I think I progressed to a certain point in the game. This is the last car I think that has, uh, let's see, oh, yeah, it's the last car that kind of has a list. <laughs> then we move on to this bad boy here, which is through the DLC. And we got this, but see, part not discovered. So, ah, man, I need this, I need this tester alley here, this path test. And, oh, it cost 15000 Okay, cool, cool. Not too bad, not too bad. We're almost there. Uh, toolbox will allow us to do upgrades. So I can do 50%. Oh, oh, that's cool. Repair tools level one. That is awesome. Huh. And we got these tablets, the fast unbolting, fast manual examination. That's kind of neat. So we've got two points. I want to get these things. I think the OBD scanner. Um, I wish you could kind of click on these to know what they do. So we'll just do the OBD scanner. Okay. And oh, should I get the compression tester or the electronic meter? I don't know what they're used for. So well, let's do the electronic meter. I don't know which one to pick. Let's do the electronic meter. And we'll see if we screwed ourselves over or not for that. So basically, need to just collect uh, what 180 experience. We'll be able to do that with this car right here, probably. So, I've also learned something new with the game. You can highlight items. So when you do that, and say we lift the car up, watch. This is going to be amazing. So because I have a highlighted, and, oh look, there is it. That's the part in question. So if we go into our O, we can deselect that part. See now, you see it's gone. So we can actually take a look at which brake calipers, which disc brake, and which brake pads. So it looks like one piece in each item. I can't remember if I purchased all these items, so we're just going to go ahead and dismantle what we need to to pick up the components that are all highlighted here. And you're going to come along for the ride. So. Yeah, so let's take apart this one here. I'm going to click on this, going to zoom in, and we're just going to right click to remove. So I'm in disassemble mode, if you see in the top left hand corner. And you just press and left click, and you enjoy the game. I grinded this game for two, three hours to get the experience that I did. Okay, so now we need to remove this thing. So I think that's is in the way. I love how you can just. I push and hold the mouse button and then you can just take the stuff off take the brake pads off and then now you can take this, this that's now am I taking I think yeah that's right that's the piece okay so that one's done so let's take off this one here let's take off this stuff I you know usually what I do is I buy the parts uh, first then I will come and repair the vehicle. I just can't remember if I fix the parts. So we need to take off the brake caliper. I think that's the item in question. Yeah, okay. And yeah, no, exactly. So now if we go assemble mode, say I right click here. Um, okay. Oh, that's why. I oh, know I did buy a brake caliper. I wonder if I can use one of these older ones. Ah, whatever. Let's replace that one. Okay. And then we can put this bad boy back. Doesn't. Don't think it matters which wheels which. 
Now there is that percentage of parts that if you find are weaker, that you should fix them right here. But I've never seen anything below 61%. I've always seen them above. So maybe this is more relevant on like the truck. So now we know that's done. We, we can dismantle that. So now we need to replace the brake caliper, the, the brake pads, I think, um, or caliper, whatever this thing is. Let's see, go disassemble mode. Cause it, uh, come on, I'm trying to click over there. Uh, radiator, come on, how about like this? There we go, over here, bang, there we go. Okay, let's go into assemble mode. Brake disc ventilated, I did buy a new one. Brake pads, put those ones on. Brake caliper, doesn't matter, put those ones on. And there we go. Nice, okay, then we can put this bad boy on. It's at 63, which obviously we know that needs to be repaired. Okay, there we go. That, that wheel is done. So we can actually go, oh, we can remove this item. See, this is just awesome. Just, you know, you listen to the music, go have fun. That phone only rings if you you answer them. But once you're working on cars, the phone doesn't ring. It's just more to tell you that there's jobs waiting there or when there's new jobs there. So it's kind of like an indicator. So it's not too bad, not too bad. So let's go over to this wheel. I don't like that highlight mode too much because it kind of defeats the purpose of you trying to find the item to fix. But then if they take the list away and you have to discover where these items are and what's broken by driving, then yeah, then I can see I can see it working out the way it should. That's for sure. Okay. Okay. Now let's uh, assemble a new one on top of this one. Okay, we can use this one because it's seventy-five percent. Maybe I didn't buy enough. I don't know. I'm not too sure. So we can reassemble this wheel. So yeah, basically, it's what this is what car mechanic simulator is all about. You know, if you're still watching me from way before, from like the first episode of this, then thank you. I appreciate you watching. <laughs> Definitely always appreciate when there's human eyes that grace this 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 content. I was trying to think of what to say. So yeah, so. One of these episodes, on one of these games, I'm going to have to kind of say why I record on YouTube and why I kind of do this stuff. Mostly it's because of this is how I enjoy playing the game. Because a lot of times playing these games, it's it's pointless. It's pointless in the sense that I'm not getting anything productive done. Right? So, yeah. So let's go assemble. Get new brake pads caliper on, on it and I think this will be the last item and then we put the wheel perfect okay and I think we can go oh everything should be complete we can finish job boom oh we're almost we almost popped a level so I need to pick a car we can fix uh, let's see here. Let's let, let's see what we can do. So if we go, oh, car is loud. So it makes me wonder if we have to. I'm just kind of mouse clicking on that left click. This is how we interact with the world, which is pretty cool. Ah, uh, look at this. Looks like we need a new muffler. Uh, can we examine this stuff? Oh shoot. Okay, well, let's take the rear muffler. Okay, this is why maybe the car is loud, hey? Um, is that near the front? No, it's not, okay. Um, how do we, how do we access that aspect? Uh, okay, let's go to this part maybe. Ah, okay, here we go. Catalytic converter. Front exhaust pipe. Okay, that's interesting. Let's go into our inventory here. Oh, I got a lot of crap in here. So this is what we have. We have... Oh, I don't want to sell. 
There's no way of looking at this. Uh, right click to sell all. Okay, no, don't want to do that. So we need to buy these pieces here. And my thing with this game, this is the one problem I have with this game. Let's see if I go O. Ah, okay, looks like those are the, the items we need to fix. I think, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, if there's anything else that's kind of brownish, we can kind of visually see that there's a problem. But I think... Uh, where does that go into that catalytic converter? Let's go assemble. No, the normal mode. Okay, we can kind of zoom to assemble mode. Okay, okay. There you go, catalytic convert, exhaust pipe, exhaust manifold. Okay, so let's actually take a look at that. Let's, um, let's bring this down. When it says like the engine bay, it means this thing. So we have to actually open this up, click on this, and this we can actually take a look. I just want to see, okay, so this looks relatively okay, this part here. This is kind of where it's coming into the exhaust. And I think the muffler is crappy, so therefore it's it's loud. So let's buy the new parts for that. That's cool. And what else do we need to buy for this? Uh, oh yeah, a bunch of brake problems. <laughs> wow, okay, so. See, my problem with this game is you, you can only look at this list uh, when I hit. Oh yeah, you can only look at the list when you're like this. When it's highlighted, and you can hit O. So now I've used my, my memory. And uh, this is what sucks for me is, the, is my memory. That's I always find that a challenge in these games. So, you know, if a game can keep this or can keep track of this for me a lot easier, it'd be a lot better. So, for example, I can only remember one or two items, and I've already forgotten all four of them. I know there's a catalytic converter, which we can look at them in here, right? Like have a a list of needed components, or maybe we can add that kind of like a list, but. Anyways, so let's do this. So catalytic. Now is there different kinds? No. Okay, I remember the look of that. Let's buy that. Um, we know it's exhaust. We know that we need, I think, this one. Ah, see, I don't remember. Now I have to run over here and basically get the list. So I tell you what, I'll, I'll write this stuff down and I will come right back. Okay, so we're back here, so I got my list, so I hate having to do that, but yeah, and I forgot what I bought already. Catalytic converter, okay, we purchased that already. So let's go into computer, okay, perfect. I mean, the front exhaust pipe seat, but then there's two different kinds, right? There's a pipe B, V8. See, but there's these other two kinds too, all right, which all fit under the front exhaust. That's pretty funny. I need a middle muffler. I think it's down here, middle muffler. And we need a rear muffler V8, see, so it's, it's specific. And I think it's just this one, not overhead cam. I think just V8. <laughs> I hope so. Maybe that's why it's not working. Maybe this should be this one versus this one. But I guess we'll see. Okay, now we need uh, some brake pads, a brace disc, so brakes, which is nice. So I need brake pads. This is annoying, I wish I could get rid of that screen. Uh, but I guess we gotta deal with that. Brake disc, we need that. We need three uh, calipers. Brake caliper, where are ya? Here we go. One, two, Three, use enter, and we need an ABS pump. Right here, ABS pump. It's using up a lot of our money, but we know that this job will pay us all back, so no big deal. Now we can work on this stuff. We can listen to the music, and yeah, this is basically what we do. This is all that we do. So if I go repair order, so let's see, where is this bad boy? ABS pump. Is it? It's back there. Okay, can I, oh, there we go, ABS pump, there we go. Let's kind of zoom in on it here, here we go. That's so I need to take this bad boy out, this module. 
So let's disassemble that module. Whatever it's called. An ABS module, I guess. Which attaches to the ABS pump. Makes sense? Makes sense. <laughs> okay, and then we take out the ABS pump. And we go assemble mode. And pop the new pump in. And we pop in the old module, which is a 74. I think that uh, matches our... I think it's 72 or 73 percent. So let's put this in. Perfect, that one's done. Let's light up all these bad boys and see where they're at. Okay. Um, brakes. Let's lift this up. So we need to get underneath the bad boy here. Okay, let's. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, right here, right here. So it needs repair. Take off these rims. Now what did I say? I said 72%, right? Let's take a quick peek. 71% actually, okay. Oh yeah, this one's bad. It looks bad to me, visually. Everything else looks good though, so far. And then we can go assemble mode. Brake caliper, brand new brake caliper. She didn't even let me use the other one. It's probably trashed the other one. <laughs> okay, and assemble the tire. So we don't need that off. And then we'll take a quick peek at the jobs here after we're done this job. If we get that extra experience, we'll buy that third part potentially. Okay, now we can turn this one off. Let's see, so there's probably all the brake stuff is in the back there, most likely. Man, for the longest time I didn't know what that little star was for, and it's basically like a favorite item type of thing. Which is kind of funny. So let's see here. Let's take this tire off here. Listen to the music. The music. But that's one thing I noticed about the game. The game has some decent music, I find. Take those off. Condition is at 7%. These are 0%. And even the brake disc is 13%. Wow. I think that's it until the other side. So we can do assemble mode. Put the, put the brake disc in place. We can put new brake pads. We can put a new brake caliper. Perfect. This guy's going to have a brand new vehicle. Almost. Oh, C72, but we need it. See, so if it was 71, would that mean I would have to replace the part? I don't know. <laughs> so we replaced those ones. Now we just need the other brake caliper, which is on the other side. I could have clicked on the other side. Okay, here we go. Brake caliper. Let's take this one off. The graphics are really good for this game, which is kind of funny. You know, there's other games I play, maybe because the scene is small, so it doesn't have to render too much. I noticed that. So let's take that off, okay. And I think then just assemble. Assemble a new one and oops. Always click on the wrong spot. If you're wondering why it's doing that, it just means that oh you clicked on the wrong place, bro. Let's see here. Put these back on. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so that car should be oh almost complete. Now let's put on the exhaust mode here. So let's put on this this middle muffler. Okay. And I want to kind of center it on here. Center on the catalytic converter. Oh, here we go. Okay. Exhaust pipe. We'll do that. I understand that we're supposed to. You kind of have to click on the items t to take you further into that aspect. So for example, like this, the middle muffler, exhaust pipe, and then now I can kind of rotate around to get to this part here that I need. Zoom out a bit. Put the rear muffler in place. I think that's it. That should be four pieces. Let's take a quick peek here. Oh yeah, what's that? We've got car is loud. Boom. And brake problems. So you looks like you get the money back. You get the completed tasks. And bonus for completing job. So bang. 
Look at that. Woo! 11,000 and we leveled up. So let's kind of take a look at, here's the toolbox. It's the same kind of tools, so maybe we'll pick the compression tester. So that way we have all of our testers. And then we can kind of get, I think, these items, and then we'll go for these items. Maybe we'll get this one next. We kind of need to see what that does. Maybe we can use, uh, maybe we can use this thing, or maybe it'll be something that we can interact with. Ah, oh, here, I didn't even notice this. Cool, repair table. Guess we'll talk about it. Uh, this list shows parts that can be repaired. Remember that upgrading your tools and abilities via the upgrade menu will increase the chance of successful repair. You can fix bodywork parts after upgrading repair tools to level 5. Huh. Well, that's pretty freaking cool. So if I click on... Ah, so we can... I see, I see. We can make money off of these old parts. Or, okay, I understand now. Or we can, okay. So let's just take a quick peek here. If the repairing was skill based in the sense of, like, as you used it, you would gain skill, but. Oh no, I can't be in here. Just go straight into inventory. So maybe we'll just sell all these items. We got one of these. So let's just click on sell junk. See, 15, 4, 20, 9, 6, 5. I'm just kind of taking a quick peek. You know what? It probably won't hurt too bad. Man, I can sell this stuff. Oh, look at that. Sell that. Okay, maybe we'll repair. We'll try repairing these cheap things. Uh, but anything where we can kind of make some decent coin, maybe we will try and repair. So I want to see if it repairs it completely or if it's just like a chance thing. Uh, let's sell this thing. Yeah, this is junk. That's junk. Okay, let's see what happens when we repair. And then we'll call it a day. Or, yeah, no, and then we'll look at which jobs and we'll call it a day for the next set of jobs. So. Uh, okay, it looks like I can't repair everything. Uh, okay. So we could repair what we did. And so I guess we should always check that. And then we'll have to just sell our items. So I'm just kind of clicking and hitting enter. I wish there was a better way of doing this. Oh, look on the top. There's these different sorting stuff. I guess if everything is grouped together, it doesn't matter. There we go. So we got more money. So let's take a look at some jobs here and then we'll call it a day. So, sloppy car steering, loud exhaust. But we can't test any cars out because we don't have 15,000 yet. Brake problems, I don't know, available from so we can... We'll decline these two jobs because we don't have enough experience. The engine is working but it's choppy. Tapping sounds from engine bay. Poor brake performance. I'm kind of tempted to take in this car just to see if we can do it. Okay, so we've chosen this bad boy here. This kind of looks cool. This is a DLC. Let's pop the hood up. Look at that. We're gonna have a feeling we're gonna have to take apart the engine. Part not discovered. I wonder if there's like if we can use tools. Three. Can be examined by taking off the car with the compression tester. Seventy-one percent. If I hit O, okay. Engine is working, but choppy. So we can kind of do this to investigate. I might have to go inside of these things. The car. Kind of. This will kind of give us a status of these different items. Can be examined by removing. What's this? Oh, that that one's okay. This looks like there's some red parts in here. This is cool. 
electronic meter. So, so we can test all that stuff, which is kind of neat. So, you think I have to be in? Yeah, okay, I see, I see. So, if I'm in examine mode, does it show me which? No, it doesn't show me which items. You have to be in disassemble mode, which then leads you. Okay, let's try this. We're just gonna disassemble. We're gonna try and do some exploratory. Ah, we shouldn't do this because this is distracting. We need to look at the other job. But yeah, but basically this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a look at this car. So we need to move this car to the left lifter. And then let's take a look at the, another job here. Maybe we're gonna do this because there's a list provided so we know we can complete it. So we'll take this job. Okay, perfecto. So we got this bad boy. Let's kind of take a quick peek here. So we got lists, so this would be nice and easy, easy work. So let's put this on the right lifter there. Um, M to move right lifter. Okay, and we could take one more car. Let's take a quick peek here. Sloppy car steering lot. See, this, this worries me because it doesn't tell me and there's testing you can do with the path test which allows you to drive the car to see what how much is this it's uh, 5,000 XP just kind of see what upgrades cost that's another important aspect of the game 9,000 XP okay okay so we'll unlock those in due time in due time is there anything here oh I can exit the game probably use that to exit yeah we're gonna do that today Oh, garage customization. Oh, so cool. Ah, uh, okay. So, but you need. Uh, okay, so the same upgrade points you use. Okay, that's cool. It's cool. Up to a little bit more exploring here. We got this fence. We got the camera here, which is kind of cool. You can point the camera, take a picture. Um. Aperture hold roll. Not sure what that does, but yeah, not sure what the photos are for. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye bye.